Gaming journalism. <laughs> <laughs> so many of you may have been keeping up with the news lately and seen that Nintendo have been giving out secret, super secret emails to select Club Nintendo of Europe members, allowing them to purchase the new 3DS. Now, for those who live in Japan and Australia, no, it's not been released for us yet. So, you can keep on laughing, but we've got this really cool edition that has Nintendo's original logo on there. The only thing I'm angry about, really, is that I haven't gotten one of those emails. <laughs> and, uh, I feel kind of bummed about that. When I saw the news, it mentioned an Ambassador Edition, and I was thinking to myself, Shit! I'm a 3DS Ambassador! I bought the 3DS on launch! So why am I not getting this? Because it's completely unrelated. They use the word Ambassador, but not to refer to the Ambassadors of the of the normal 3DS, which I'm kind of bummed out about. It would have been really cool to have that perk a little later on. I mean, think about it. We were the people who bought the 3DS at launch, so surely we're the most trustworthy to buy the new 3DS. But not too jealous, not too jealous at all. I'm just sort of stopping myself from begging Nintendo via email. At least when you beg to Gabe N at ValveSoftware.com, he at least give you something. No, 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 hold on, hold on. I'll show you what I got. Last time... Last time I begged Gabe Newell for something. I begged him for a framed photograph of his face. Instead he sent me one of the Saxton Hale snail mails. I'm not sure if the light's probably reflecting off of this, but it's a Saxton Hale comic book cover. And this is freaking sweet. If you contact Nintendo customer support in any way, they'll just either ignore you completely or give you some sort of canned response. So, I know me begging for a new 3DS ain't gonna work. And now, general media journalism! Although I feel like these segments will be more catered towards gaming news, I feel like I should mention this here. DreamWorks, who I've known had the rights to make a Ghost in the Shell film, uh, finally came out and said they're actually doing it. They've announced that Scarlett Johansson is going to be the leading role of Motoko Kusanagi. Which has gotten a lot of people riled up. I'm not seeing many supporters on the internet for that. Uh, mostly just because it's, of course, a Western actress and not a Asian actress. The crazy thing is, I thought to myself, well, maybe they're just doing a, I don't know, maybe they're doing a, a Western version. They're making a, they're making an Americanized adaptation. You know, so it's based in fuck off New York or something like that. But no, DreamWorks is blog gives a synopsis of the film saying that it's based in Japan. Motoko is still part of the Japanese Special Forces or whatever you would call it. And that makes me think, are, are the rest of the cast all going to be, like, Western actors? Are we gonna have any Asian actors in this predominantly Japanese setting? I'm really not sure. but. I love Ghost in the Shell that much that I really don't care. I'm gonna go see the film anyway. Leave a comment if you think I should do more of these things, cause I feel like I probably should. And you see this backdrop behind me, it's just my bog standard wall. I'm thinking of getting either a green screen or something else that's nice to go up against this nice wall here. Cause I've recently cleared out a lot of space. You can see right here, there's a freaking mattress. I've just got shoved up against the wall at the moment. Like. Comment. Subscribe.